Hey guys, Isaiah Tripp here with Trip Talk, and today I have a quick uh, and brief message for you guys, but I have one that I really feel will help out a lot. And today, uh, well, let's first start by saying I've been getting a lot of requests to make a video like this uh, to explain my point of view, and today I decided to do that, and I'm going to talk about why I don't save money. First of all, let me point out the fact that money is not backed by anything in today's world, meaning that money is not even real. Money is just an idea. Money is actually fake because President Nixon took America off of the gold standard uh, in 1971. So the US dollar is just a currency. It is not real money. It is not backed by anything. And on top of that, as we see uh, with coronavirus and other things, America is steadily printing, printing, and printing more of it. So savers actually become losers. And here's what I mean by that. The U.S. dollar is not backed by anything. Not only that, the U.S. dollar is worth about four cents today. I know there are a lot of people out there, because I remember hearing it when I was younger, that remember the days where you can get a bucket of popcorn for 10 cents, or Snickers for 10 cents, or gas for somewhat of that cheap. And since those days, the U.S. dollar has been going down and down and down, and it's still going down. As a matter of fact, like I just stated, it's only worth about four cents right now. And so with printing money comes inflation, meaning if I save and put a hundred dollar bill to the side right here, right now, in five years, what will that hundred dollar bill pay for? What will that hundred dollar bill be worth? In five years, it may not even be worth nothing, seeing as though that $1 is only worth four cents right now. You guys kind of get where I'm going? If you save money, you're actually losing money because the government is steadily, is steadily printing more. So why save money when they're printing it and it's not backed by anything? That's the first thing that we must understand. Another thing that we must come to understand is... Saving money is just a prolonging of spending it. You will one day spend that saved money. And when you do, what will you spend it on? Me, personally, I choose not to save my money at all. And I choose to spend that money that I do have, the extra money, and I spend it on investments. Most of my money goes towards investments. I have a future, pl a future plan, a long-term plan, to where when I look up in five to 10 years, I'm gonna be rich or well on my way. And I'm here to say that you guys can accomplish the same thing. But before you do that, I must also say that you have to do studying, some studying of your own. Don't just take my word for it. Read these books. You can read Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. You can read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. There's a bunch of different books that you can read, but you must first read and you must first do your own studying and your own research and things of that nature. Because I'll tell you, they put a lot of this information in books, but we, and I say we, I'm talking to my black brothers and sisters, the community that I came out of, we don't pick up a book and read. And so before anything, make sure that you go out and do some studying, some reading and some researching on your own. Okay, now back to what I was saying. I don't save any of my money. I invest my money. In the time being, I invest my money and let my money work for me so that it can make me more money. We all should strive or want to have or want to make money in our sleep. I'm constantly making money in my sleep. A lot of people get it twisted that you only have to use the money that you make. There's a plethora of ways to produce multiple sources of income, but to do that, you must first understand that money is just an idea. And after that, you must understand and you must learn how that idea works or how the idea of money works. You you have to do your own research, do your own studying, read the books that I again suggested and go from there. But a lot of people like to shy away from credit when credit can really be your best friend if you utilize it correctly. Whenever you choose to utilize credit, always be sure to make sure you make your payments back. You always go back and double back and make your credit payments because in the future, and always keep in mind, you got to have a future focus. Don't think about the fact that I can't pay this credit card off in full. You don't need to pay it off in full. Make a minimum payment until you do have the full amount to pay that credit card off because in doing that, what will happen is you will be eventually 
or you will eventually have access to more money. The more you utilize credit in the right way, the more credit that you receive, the more credit, the more your credit limits raise. I mean, there's a guy, I'm 25, so I haven't been too deep into credit yet because again, I've only been out in the world, the real world, I guess, for about three years. So my credit history is not that extensive, but I do know a gentleman that said he had a quarter of a million dollars in credit cards and he worked his way up to that point. And that's, I'm not ashamed to say that's where I'm on my way to. I'm on, I'm on my way to working my way up to a point like that where I can have a quarter million dollars in credit cards because that will simply stretch your arms longer than you can imagine in times of need. Imagine if you have a quarter million dollars in credit cards during this COVID, uh, <clears throat> during COVID, or imagine if you had $5,000 in credit cards during a COVID time like this. A lot of people will look at that and may say, hey, I wanna buy this or buy that. But the way I look at it, the way I use credit as my best friend, is then when times when times or disasters come like this and I need extra money, there's that $5,000 over there that I can tap into. And once we get out of this little COVID or once we get out of this little situation, then I'll make sure I pay that credit back and save for another time. And by paying that credit back, my credit limits increase. So by the time we get back to another disaster or something like that, now I have 25 grand in credit cards instead of 5,000. And not only that, I can utilize that credit money for whatever I want. And that stuff is real money. So if you utilize credit the right way, it will be your best friend. And again, that just speaks testament and continuously goes towards the fact that money is just an idea. The guy has a quarter of a million dollars in credit cards. It's not necessarily real money, but if he needed it, he could use a quarter million dollars, which means that is real money which means he must understand the idea of money. Once you understand the idea of money, you will stop saving it and you'll be well on your way to being rich. I can guarantee it. But again, don't take my word for it. Do your own studying, do your own reading, do your own researching. Savers are losers. And I'll point this out one more time. Why save money when they're printing money? The US dollar right now is worth about four cents. And the more they print, the more it goes down and down and down. And yes, if you want to ask the question, yes, we're on our way to zero, meaning the US dollar might even might not even be here in five years. What do I invest in, you ask? There's stocks, there's silver and gold. There's a plethora of things that you can invest in. But I want to touch on stocks and silver and gold briefly before I close. Stocks, it's been proven. You can definitely make money by that. And if you didn't panic during COVID-19, I bet you made money off of stocks. I did. I know I did. And here's the thing. You make money off of certain disasters. You can't just panic. Money is just an idea. How will I make the money work for me? How will I make this idea work for me? If everybody, and this is how I thought about the COVID thing. If everybody is panicking, if companies are not making money, that means their stock is going way down, right? And so let me give you an example. Century Casinos, their stock went all the way down to $1.20. bucks. And from studying, I knew that it came all the way from eight to $1.20. I said, wow, that's a bargain. So I bought 250 or 300 shares or something like that. Now, <laughs> Century Casinos, and that, this was about two months ago. So I had to wait about two months. Now, Century Casinos today is up to $6.30. Now, if you want to do the math, let's say I've paid for uh, 250 shares at 120. Do the math. Do 250 times $1.20 and, and then go back and do 250 times $6. And I think it's actually at $6.40 today. And you'll see how much money I made just off of that one stock. And so stocks are definitely a great way to make money. And another way to ensure your wealth and to build wealth is to buy silver and gold because silver and gold was here before the world or before people was ever here. And it will be here when we're all long gone. Silver and gold is proven over time that it will always be here. But currencies like the US dollar and other currencies will eventually go extinct. Like I said, the US dollar right now, it's on its way to zero. 
but silver and gold will be here after the US dollar is long gone. And so those are some of the things that you can invest in. And not to mention silver and gold, like I said, is, is real money. People will always be trading for that stuff. So if you're looking for stuff to invest in, research stocks, research silver and gold, and research and do your own research on why you shouldn't save your money. If you feel different and you save your money, actually, I would love for you to comment. If you agree with me, I would love for you to comment as well. If you like the video, I would definitely like you for you to click the like button if you don't mind. And also, if this is your first time visiting this channel and you like something that I said and you want to continue in and you want to continue following the journey, definitely click that subscribe button. This is Isaiah Tripp. This is Trip Talk. And again, this has been an episode on why I don't save money. Thank you guys for watching.